in a packed house at the Wairika City Council Chambers with the topic of disbanding the city's police department on the table. But the council didn't vote at last night's meeting. Instead, it was the city's mayor who began the meeting, making an announcement that the item that brought a large portion of the town to the meeting was officially off the table. NBC5's Natalie Weber reports. I feel we really need to have the Wairika Police Department to service the city of Wairika. The city of Wairika considering disbanding their police department due to a budget crunch. But the thought of having no police is rattling many in town. I own a business in town and we can call YPD any time of the day and they show up. The law has to be enforced and uh, I, I feel that if you're going to have a city and it's incorporated, then you could have your own local control over your department. At Thursday night's city council meeting, Mayor John Mercier planned to bring a proposal to cut the department and dispatch and instead contract with the Siskiyou County Sheriff's Office for both services. But that agenda item was immediately thrown out the window. Before I get into this topic, I want to let you know that the public has weighed in loud and clear and contracting out to the Sheriff's Department is off the table. What did happen? An apology from the mayor. I do want to make some public apologies, and the first one would be to the employees and their families of YPD. Mercier says the city's in a difficult budget position. 49% of the budget goes to YPD, and $2.7 million was just spent on a new headquarters for the department. And he says something needs to be done to cut costs. I think it's very important that we as a community discuss how we want to go about things. And the mayor noted that that discussion could begin with YPD's top brass, where three people make well over $100,000 annually, including benefits. In Wairika, Natalie Weber, NBC5 News. Natalie, thank you. One idea the mayor did discuss last night involves getting more boots on the ground. He suggested using the sheriff's posse, a group of volunteer deputies, to patrol inside city limits.